cannot believe the day is finally here. I've been looking forward to this day since I was a little kid. I vividly remember in the first grade being asked what I wanted to be when I grew up. I told my teacher I wanted to be a husband. <laughs> she told me that wasn't the response she was looking for. First grade Caleb told her that was what he was looking for. First grade Caleb wanted a lifelong partner and a best friend. He wanted someone he could share a deep and life-altering love with, a love that altered his priorities and became the center and joy of his life. He prayed for this day, and more importantly, he prayed to God for the right woman. In the week we moved in, I said, I'm gonna find a little girl. He's this blonde-headed, ponytailed, stomping girl. Just stomps down the hallway and down the stairs. So like, what, like a week or two later, the fire alarm went off? Yeah. The fire alarm went off, so everyone came downstairs to the alley. I was like, Will, do you live here? And he was like, yeah, I just moved in like two weeks ago, and this is my roommate, Caleb. And I was like, oh, cool, and, like nice to meet you. It was super dark. And then Laurel and I had been planning for like six months to do a girl's New Year's Eve. She was like, we have to go over to their apartment and say hi. And I was like, oh, look. His roommates were like cute in the light. <laughs> the next day for New Year's Day, and we're on the way back, and I was like, oh crap, I didn't text the girl. <laughs> and uh, and she's like, who was it? And I was like, this girl, that's my neighbor. We met, and she's really cute, like met on New Year's Eve. And uh, he goes, oh, what are you gonna say? And I was like, I don't know, I've waited this long. Like, what's the appropriate? And him and his fiance at the time would go, well, you should text this. At like 6 p.m., he texted me this gif of Woody from Toy Story coming through like saloon doors, and it goes, howdy, neighbor. <laughs> and, you know, that's just how it is. <laughs> and, uh, that's anyways. That's kind of history, isn't it? Yeah. Caleb is like the person at the party who wants to make sure that everyone else is having fun and forgets to have fun himself. He is very, very strong, very gentle. She is a firecracker. She is headstrong. She has a pure heart, has the most caring, kind, compassionate heart you could put in a package that small. person that I want to be with. If there's anything I know for sure, it's that you will be an amazing dad someday. I never want to forget this day and all the tiny little moments that make it special. day and looking back at first grade Caleb and what he might have to say. He'd finally become what he wanted to be when he grew up. Oh, it's hot in here. <laughs> I can say without a shadow of a doubt, I would have never thought in my wildest imagination that these two would end up together. Just to illustrate that point, these two went to the same college. They both had mutual friends. We did homecoming together one year. Caleb was even a director. <laughs> and they still didn't meet until after college. It's obvious that the Lord put them in each other's lives at the perfect time. I'm 
promise I will always choose you. I love you, and I cannot wait to start our life together. Mm, that was so perfect. I Carly take you, Caleb. I Carly take you, Caleb. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. To you I promise to be faithful. To you, I promise to be faithful. I'm choosing you today, and I'm choosing you forever. Let's sign the papers and make it official. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Caleb and Carly, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Caleb, you may kiss your bride. as to what qualified her to be a tutor. There was no, let's get together to study. It was, I'm going to help you. I didn't get an A, actually. Thank you. It's very rude. So I blame my tutor. Uh, <laughs> Straightforward, honest little boy. And uh, he's turned into a, a straightforward young man, and I'm, I'm proud of him. And uh, we're proud that uh, he found you, Carly. doubt where Caleb gets his personality and his to be such a gentleman and a nice guy it comes from his parents. I pray that your lives are full of blessings, abundant in adventure, and most of all that you're better for the kingdom of heaven because you're together. She likes dollars. She likes diamonds. She likes stunting and she likes shining. So if you can keep those four things in mind, I think you guys will have a very happy marriage. Cheers to the Gatlins. Yeah.